And uh, we're going to make him an, an honorary member of Bikers for Christ because our leader was a Jew, too. So we have a T-shirt for you. We have a T-shirt for your fiancé. And it says, Full Throttle for Jesus. <laughs> There's a couple of scriptures that I want to read for, to you folks. People tell me I'm like a cross between Billy Graham and Jim Carrey. So uh, we're going to have some fun. In uh, Psalm 150, it says, Pray, Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty firmament. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. And then it goes down, it drops down, it says, Let everything that has breath praise God. You know, God is the one that created this world. It, believing in the Big Bang would be like saying that there were a bunch of pieces of metal and some pieces of electronic equipment that were flying around in space, and one day they all just kind of banged into each other and became this microphone and this PA system. That's pretty asinine if you ask me, okay? I just thought I'd throw that in. Anyway, our country was founded upon godly principles. Psalms chapter 33, verse 12, Old Testament, I may add, Mike, says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen as his own inheritance. John chapter 8, verse 36 says, Therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. We live in a country that was based on the Word of God, based on freedom, and you know what? We need to keep it, amen? amen. Our nation was founded upon the Ten Commandments, not the Ten Suggestions. Okay? Judeo-Christian values, but you know, some want to remove the Ten Commandments from courthouses, and then we, see, we receive corruption in the courthouses. Some wanted to remove prayer from public schools. Right after that, kids started going crazy, and we got school shootings. So you see the direction that this is going in, folks? Now our nation stands at another crossroad, and because my buddy Mike is a Jew, I want to talk about that for a minute. <laughs> for our God said that any nation or people who bless the nation of Israel shall be blessed, yet those who curse the nation of Israel will be cursed. Amen. Genesis chapter 12, verse 3 says, I will bless those who bless you, I will curse him who curses you, and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And sadly, our government is currently pulling its support away from the land of Israel. You know, there are many try, many who try to curse the things that God has blessed. Now the ACLU and others, a small percentage of the population of this country want to remove this cross. Because they say crosses are offensive. Well, if crosses are offensive, so are mosques. So are any other place of worship or faith. And you know what? They want to tear down anything that has values, and it's very sad. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 14 says, When your heart is lifted up, and you forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, when you forget, that nation is in trouble. And we don't want to go there, folks. Like the land of Israel, our land has been blessed. But once we forsake the Lord in His ways, we are destined for problems. Like every nation that has been lifted up with too much pride, and they begin thinking that it's all about them, they forsake the ways of God, they end up being judged. That's just the way it rolls. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 3 says, Therefore say to them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, return to me, says the Lord God, and I will return to you. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, 
I will forgive their sins, and I will heal their land. Amen. You know what? Our our land needs a healing, folks. Our, le our land needs a healing. We need to be thankful for the freedom that we have to live in a country that is free because of the prices paid for that freedom by our veterans, of which I'm one. And I was born in 1954 when they put this up. And you know what? I'll stand up for it until I drop dead. And I know Mike will be right alongside of me, so will Snowman, Soldiers for Jesus, Booze Fighters, everybody that believes in this country is not going to be silenced. We're going to stand up for what we believe, and we're going to shout it out, and we don't care if people like it or not. Amen. Our freedoms as American bikers, and by the way, we got a brother that flew down all the way from Nova Scotia, Canada, Bikers Woo! for Christ, just to be here. And he knows what a socialist country is all about. He said, you don't want to go there, bro. <laughs> we need to be proud Americans. We need to be proud as bikers. And with that, we're going to pray a blessing over you, over your bikes. We have these little stickers that say, God blessed my bike. We got a couple of hundred of these. Our guys are going to be passing these out. And as we leave here, we got a black van over there that we removed the windows out of so that our video shooters can aim and film all of us riding off this mountain together. And that's going to be a testimony to this world. That we, as Americans, are going to stand up. And you know what? You know that song, We're Not Going to Take It? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We're not going to take it anymore. Amen? Amen? Would you join me as we pray? Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for this country that was founded upon godly principles. We thank you for this war memorial that was built because blood was shed from members of our nation to keep us free. And blood was shed upon that cross to die for the sins of the world. And so this, this morning I'd like to pray and I would ask God's protection to be upon you. I pray that His Spirit would touch your life, that you would feel His presence as you ride in the freedom that you've been given from God Almighty. And no man should be able to take that away for many of us. I pray that God would keep the little road demons out of your way. Keep the mechanical demons out of your way. Some of you guys with all their pan heads, shovel heads, you know what I'm talking about. But I pray that God would put his hand of protection upon you and your families and your bike. And that God would continue to speak to you about how much he loves you. The fact that he sent his son to die for your sins. And that the only thing that we've got is freedom and the love that we have for one another. Let's never take that for granted. I pray that God would minister to you, that he would show you his love, no matter who you are, no matter what background you come from. And Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for New York Mike, San Diego Harley Davidson, the Confederation of Clubs, all the veterans that are here today. We give you thanks for all these things. Continue to bless, lead, and guide us. In Jesus' name, God bless America. Amen. Amen. I have nothing to add, Your Honor. So. <laughs> God bless you. Safe back. Hope you all go to San Diego Harley. If not, we'll see you on the road. Happy Memorial Day. Those guys going to uh, Vietnam Veterans Wall in Washington, D.C. Run for the wall. Rolling Thunder. We'll see you there. God bless.